Hello, people of the internet. My name is Mia Cotton, and welcome back to Dream Daddy. We just got off of a very fun date with Craig, where he hit me in the face with a softball. But you know what? We're gonna move past that because he also kissed me on the forehead afterwards, and that is much less damaging to my my frontal lobes. Anyway, we got a message from Craig. Hey, buddy. So I have a favor to ask. Robert invited me over for dinner. And I know it's a faux pas to invite another bro, but I've known the guy for years and I still can't get a good read on him. And I know it's still super awkward if I go by myself. Will you please come with me? I love food. <laughs> I especially love food that's free. Are you sure? I don't know why you're so sweaty over cooking, but sure. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Thank you. I sh really hope that's the sweat of relief eat that dinner. So we're going over to- <laughs> always try to make others around you happy. So we're going to dinner with Robert and Craig. That doesn't sound too bad. I could definitely go for free food, but why is Craig being so apprehensive? Does he know something about Robert that I don't? Oh my god. I hurry up and reply before my dad brain can work itself into a paranoia- paranoia spiral. Yeah, dude, I'm down. Thank you. <laughs> Didn't I already type this? Craig and I just had to meet up before heading over to Robert's place. Craig's waiting on my porch. Bottle of white wine in hand. Hey! Harry! Boy, am I glad to see you. <laughs> Likewise, man. Classy of you to bring wine. Nice. Oh, it's not wine. It's sparkling apple cider. Robert literally has a wine cellar, so I think he's good. Wow. Or at least I think he has a wine cellar. I'm genuinely unsure if he was telling the truth or not. I can never tell with him. Nobody can, Craig. It's okay. It's okay. Nobody knows what Robert's really like. But I hope to find out over the course of... Possibly two dates. Definitely two. Maybe three. Depending on what happens here at the end of the game. Anyway. Oh. Thank, uh, thank God it's not just me. I never know. Mm. He's so deadpan about everything. I usually just laugh it off. But man, that guy is an enigma. The, machination, the inner machinations of his mind are an enigma. Milk. <laughs> we start walking over to Robert's house. Does Robert even know how to cook? I have sincere doubts about whether he even knows how to shave properly. Or iron his shirts. I feel like you could learn to cook a after you learn those two first. Dude. One time I saw him grab a hot dog from a trash can. Ew! Ew! Mm. <laughs> I mean, it was at the very top of the trash can, like, sitting above it. But still, if we were on trial, I think the jury would define that as in the trash. In his defense, I've definitely considered grabbing food from the top of the trash before. Mm. Well, yeah, I think we've all considered it, but the difference is that Robert actually did it. True. Maybe he's the enlightened one. Maybe we're holding ourselves back. Or maybe we don't want to eat out of the trash. <laughs> nice. We arrive at Robert's house and ring the doorbell, which is on a different street and not in the cul-de-sac for some reason. We are, uh, but the doorbell won't chime. Hmm. Must be broken. Craig knocks on the door a few times. Since when does Robert have a dog? I don't know. I don't know. That's weird. I can hear Robert just inside. One second. This is uncharted territory, Harry. What if he's the one making the barking noises and there is no dog? Don't say that. We're not even inside yet. Wait, is Robert a werewolf? <gasps> Robert's a werewolf. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Finally, the door opens and Robert looks a little surprised to see me. Oh. Harry, didn't know you'd be tagging along. I don't know. Did Craig not tell Robert I was coming? Come on, Craig! Craig! <laughs> now I just look like I barged in on this event. What the fuck, Craig? <laughs> if I were my pro, I, I can leave if there's mm. not. No, it's fine. Come on in. Oh, look! Nobody cleaned up. <laughs> look at all of those clothes on the sofa. Come on, man. We enter Robert's living room, which is surprisingly really nice. Super messy, but still nice. Oh, he's got a record. Look at all those records on the wall. Okay, I forgive the clothes on the floor, on the on the couch. <laughs> Make ourselves at home. We can still hear barking from the other room. Hmm. I didn't know you have a dog, Robert. Oh yeah, that's Betsy. Have to put her up when guests are over. She'll calm down in a bit. Hmm. What kind of dog is she? Hmm. Pitbull. Rescued her from a dog fighting ring a few years back. She hates strangers. If I let her out right now, I would probably have to take you both to the ER. Hmm. Craig and I make eye contact. He raises an eyebrow at me. Help! Help! Stranger danger! Uh oh! Okay! Oh. Anyways, dinner should be ready in a minute. Hope you guys like 
Also Buko. What? I don't know what that is. Also Buko? I don't know what that means. Margaret leaves the room, presumably to go to the kitchen. I would hope so. Kitchen, <laughs> kitchen leaves in. I meant Craig. Craig is now kitchen. Craig leans in and whispers. Was the dog fighting a real thing or was he kidding? I don't know. Bro. I'm scared. What's also Buko? I don't know. Did he make up that word? Until I have also Buko in front of me, I we can only assume so. We sit in silence for a second, taking in Robert's living room. Look at all this living room. <laughs> Are we about to get sawed? Hmm. Nah, usually you wake up in those situations. We voluntarily walked into this one. Mm -hmm. Robert finally walks into the room, carrying three paper plates of steaming food like a waiter. Paper plate. Well, I mean, I guess it's kind of good when you have guests over. Because then you don't have to do dishes. Or you don't have to do as many dishes. Hot tip. I don't have a dining table. Don't trust them. So we're eating here. You don't trust dining tables? What the fuck does that mean? Oh. Also, I don't have real people plates. Hope that's okay. Why am I I'm mixing together Craig and Robert's voices? Robert sets the plates in front of us on the coffee table. I still can't tell what it is. Looks like meat. Maybe. Lots of sauce. I can make out some vegetables. I think that might be rice, but it could also be pasta. I guess there's only one way to find it. Hang on. I'm actually going to look up what also buco is, so I'm not going into this completely blind. Uh, so... Uh, specialty of Lombard cuisine crushed to... Oh, it's like... It's Lombardy. Oh, it's an Italian food. Oh, cool. Oh, yeah. It's, oh, it's risotto. It's risotto. That's why it looks like rice and pasta. Yeah. So it's an Italian, like, meat and pasta dish. Cool! Oh, so Robert's Italian. Ooh. That puts him higher up on the list for me. <laughs> God damn it. Um. Uh. I take a bite. Hey! Oh. My God. I take another bite. The medley of flavors in this dish is amazing. The meat is so tender and the risotto, I think that's what it is, is so creamy. Oh. Robert, this is really incredible. You cooked this? Mm -hmm. I fished it out of a dumpster behind a restaurant. Or at least I think it was a restaurant. Nice. Can you believe people just throw this stuff away? Dude. <laughs> I almost hey. gag. I'm kidding. I look over at Craig, who looks wary but still has his mouth full. He gives Robert a thumbs up. Glad you like it. Mm. Where did you learn how to cook like this, dude? <laughs> Worked at a restaurant in Spain for a hot sake. Wait, is this a Spanish restaurant? Maybe it's like a mixture of... It might be like a southern Italian thing because I know that like a lot of southern Italian dishes are a mix of Spanish and Italian cuisine. Yeah, Robert's probably southern Italian. That explains why his why he has like a darker complexion because southern Italy is very close to Africa and that's where my family's from. Southern Italy, but also from Africa. Cuz gonna shut up now. <laughs> is he messing with us? I decided to play along. You lived in Spain? <sighs> After I dropped out of college, I went backpacking through Europe, crashing on couches, sleeping in hostels, wherever. Totally broke. Worked a couple of odd jobs wherever I could to scrape together some cash. I... One night, I'm eating dinner at this little restaurant just outside of Madrid. I go to pay and realize I spent the last of my money on booze the night before. Hey. I'm in the middle of dishing when the manager catches me and puts me to work in the kitchen. <laughs> Long story short, they ended up liking me so much they offered me a job. Why not, right? Started living with some distant relatives on my ma's side. Hey. Over the course of two years, I worked my uh, way, way up from busboy to sous chef. Learned a lot. Craig and I wait for the punchline. What night watchman did he swindle to get back to the States? Who did he con in a game of poker in the back room of a speakeasy for safe passage in the crew quarters of a cargo ship? I... Anyway, I still love to cook. I don't know what's real anymore, but this food is so good, I kinda don't care. <laughs> That's amazing. Uh -huh. It really is. To be totally honest, I wasn't expecting gourmet cooking here, especially not served on paper plates. Oh. I don't care about presentation. If the food is good, it should be, it should speak for itself. You know what? I kind of agree with that. I I kind of I kind of agree with that. Good good on you, Robert. The Osabuco is screaming for itself. <laughs> and paper plates are just as good as regular plates if you double them up. Yep. <laughs> oh. Hmm. Hey, is it bad if I ask for seconds? Mm. Help yourself, but save room for dessert. I made lemon berry sovereign. I don't know what that is. I'm gonna look up what that is. Hmm. Well, aren't you just 
episode full of uh, gourmet cuisines. Hang on. <laughs> I'm just looking up recipes. Marine. It's a rich yeast. Oh, it's a cake. It's cake. Cake! Yay. Craig looks over Dude. at me. Surprises. Robert winks. You bet I am. Oh. You can come over for dinner anytime. Okay! Uh. <laughs> Craig. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go get seconds. Me too. After consuming way more also buka than my body can handle, and then really ensuring a, light, a later food coma with a generous serving of whatever Savarine was, Craig and I decide to head out. Uh -huh. Thanks for coming. I'm... Making an attempt to be more social. Aw, Robert. We appreciate your efforts are much appreciated. Well, we're always happy to stop by if you want company. Especially if there's also Buko involved. It's never too early to invest in a personal IRA. Welcome. You've got dad. Well, that was fun. That was a fun little side mission. Alright. We are going to roll, um, because there are only four dads left, we're going to well, in this round, we're gonna roll a D4, which is a four-sided die, to see who which dad we go out with next. Ah, dang it. Uh, I'm gonna re-roll that, because I couldn't see- God damn it, why is it always going behind my desk? Okay, let's try this again. Two. Oh, Robert. Cool! All right. All right, so we're going with Robert. When the internet gains sentience and decides to destroy us all, you'll know it'll use this information against us, right? Oh god, that's- Okay, part of the reason that that's funny is- Well, it's funny because Robert and his conspiracy theories, but also, um, Robert looks a lot like, um, one of the characters in the David Cage game to try to become human, Gavin Reed. Like an- like an aged-up version of Gavin Reed. <laughs> Which is a game about AI and androids gaining sentience. And that joke is not as funny as I thought it was going to be. So I'm just going to shut up and we're going to send a message to Robert. Always try your best at everything. I do. And then I fall flat on my face. And nobody laughs at me. And then I get sad. <laughs> Robert was pretty nice. A little odd, but nice. And ruggedly handsome. We should hang out and type um, out a message to him on dad book. Hey, Robert, good seeing you again at the cookout and at dinner last night. Wanna ha grab a drink? I sit there for a couple seconds, hoping he'll message me back. Hey, it says that he read my message. I got left on red. No! <laughs> Excuse me. Rude. I anxiously wait for a response. I'm gonna watch some cat videos on the internet. I start down a rabbit hole of cat videos, and Robert quickly vanishes from my mind. I didn't realize how long I'd been doing this. By the time I watch my 30th cat video, Robert pa pops back into my head. I jump back over to Dad Book to see if he's responded yet. Nothing. Well, I guess the guy's busy. Or he doesn't want to hang out with me. But we bonded over Spanish food! <laughs> I may as well make the best of my day. Not eating Spanish food at Robert's house. I get up, walk to the living room, and then sit down and turn on the TV. Uh, if I watch the Food Channel, I'm gonna miss it. It's cooking. I'll watch a uh, game show. Ooh, Family Fortune's on. All right, Nicole. Your parents are in the lead, and it's up to you to win it big. Are you ready? I'm ready. They hook the contestant up to a lie detector in front of her parents. Who is your favorite parent? Uh, my m mom? Ooh, sorry, incorrect. Next question. If both of your parents were hanging off the edge of a cliff, which would you save? Ah! Uh... <laughs> this is terrible. <laughs> I love it. <laughs> I lose several hours to whatever the hell that was. <laughs> Sighing, I get up and walk around the house. My stomach grumbles. Time for lunch, huh? Well, I guess it's time for old Chef Hopper to cook up a gourmet delicacy that isn't made in Spain, Robert. <laughs> I walk over to the refrigerator and open the door. Uh, mustard, ew, make a sandwich. <laughs> you monster. I make a sandwich in its entirety while standing there. Who needs plates? The sandwich, a lost art. <laughs> the sandwich, love it. I admire my work for a second before I clumsily drop the entire thing on the floor. There's a reason that art was lost. There's a reason that it died. Like disco. No! I look around and remember that Amanda's not home. 
This is still good. Five second roll, right? I reassembled my sandwich, peeling pickles off the- Ew, the inside of the sandwich came- Oh, cool, one of my friends is playing a way out. I reassembled my sandwich, peeling pickles off the floor and putting them back where they belong, in my mouth. Ew, first of all, pickles. No, <laughs> fight me. Second of all, I, th I didn't know that the entire thing just like spilled out and like un- like crumbled itself onto the- I can't speak, but you know what I mean. <laughs> Wait, I'm a wreck. <laughs> I finished my snack and walk around the house some more. Bored. When is Amanda coming home? When is Robert going to answer me? I'm so lonely. <laughs> oh, I just remembered something. When we were packing up the old house, we found an old basketball hoop that would hang off of a door. I would really, it would really bring the living room together. I wonder where I put that. I spent a couple minutes poking around the new place until I find it. After installing it above one of the doors in the living room, I'm ready to dunk. <laughs> Come on and slam, and welcome to the jam! <laughs> I take a leap from the free throw line and rocket that sucker down the net. The crowd goes wild! <sighs> and welcome to the jam, yup. I pull up from the three-point line, breaking ankles and seeking a fadeaway. And I forgot the rest of the words to this song! I didn't. <laughs> I love Space Jam way too much. No look from behind. No look behind the back hook shot. Everyone's on their feet. Something something space. Something something space jam. <laughs> I managed to just barely defeat myself at horse before Amanda comes home. Then we cook dinner together, which isn't Spanish food. <laughs> okay, I'm done. That I'm done beating that dead horse. We're proud of ourselves for not even coming close to burning down the house. Cool. Afterward, Amanda and I dig into a carton of ice cream over an episode of Chopped Toddler Tournament. <laughs> what you have in front of you is a molecularly deconstructed sweet potato with a brown sugar demi glaze with creme fraiche, of course. This is literally a jar of baby food. The toddler immediately bursts out into Aww. tears. Are we bad people for watching this? Yes. Just then, my computer dings. <gasps> Is it Robert? Huh? What's that? You probably just got a mess. What is that noise? Where was it coming from? Amanda and I walk over to the computer and check dad book. It's a message from Robert. <gasps> you up? What does that mean? What are you doing? <laughs> is he is he trying to booty call me? <laughs> That's what you up usually means. Enzo. Hang on, I gotta let my dog out. Never mind, I guess he's not leaving. What am I doing? You're just chillin'. Uh. I'm just chillin'. I type back, just chillin'. Amanda deletes the G and hits send. Ah. It'll make you look cooler. A couple moments pass by, another message pops up. Hey! Wanna grab a drink? Hey, that means he wants to hang out! What? Robert wants to hang out with me? Oh my god. I'm cool now. <laughs> what is that voice that I'm doing? I know what that means, Amanda. I know what that means, Amanda. <laughs> but it's kind of late. Dude. <laughs> Come on, Pops. Live a little. I am living with ice cream and traumatized toddlers at 7 p.m. <laughs> Well, it's your life, but I think you have a, you'd have a lot of fun tonight. You are trying to get to know the neighbors better, aren't you? Ugh, fine. I'll go out and interact socially, I guess. I type back a message to Robert asking him for details, and he tells me to meet him at Jim and Kim's. <gasps> That's where we met before. Oh my god. Well, don't wait up for me. And that is where we are going to end today's episode. On the next episode, we are going to go on a date with Robert at the place where he tried to proposition me to sleep with him. <laughs> All right. So thank you, everybody, very much for watching. Um, quick reminder that I post new videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday at 12 p.m. Pacific time. If you are interested in keeping up with this series and any other series that I post in the future, you can click the subscribe button down below. And if you want to, you can follow me on social media at Mia Cottontail on uh, Instagram, TikTok, and Twitter. Um, so that's everything, and I will see you guys next time. Peace. Peace.